All right, and uh, I think I think we're live. I think at least I'm live, and if you've seen this, uh, you're probably also live. Okay, welcome, welcome to this episode of live streams. Um, let's see, we have um, anyone in the chat? All right, so we have uh, David. Oh, George, George cannot make it this time, but. Uh, Make sure to watch the recording. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. All right. So, uh, welcome, welcome, everyone. I don't see. Um, let me actually see if I will be able to to check um, how many people right now alive. I'll give you a few more a few more seconds to um, to join. Uh, also, let me know um, as as you remember uh, the time of the show is conveniently uh, chosen so many of you can uh, participate in this one either during the breakfast or during lunchtime or maybe in dinner time so like I said it's gonna be our um, bring your own bring your own drink uh, type of show um, wait a few more few more seconds for uh, for new people to arrive and um, yeah so just uh, Let's let's check it out. If you just joined, type something in a, in a chat. Uh, write down where we're coming from. Like I mentioned last time, this time uh, time is is chosen to accommodate many of people. Um, and I understand. I also understand that for many of uh, for many of us, it's kind of like a second screen type of experience. So you don't necessarily need to kind of like actively participate. It's not. Um, live show but at least let me know let me know that um, that you were in the chat um, and also it would be uh, it would be great to know uh, geography or of my um, um, uh, of my audience so just like type down uh, where we're from where you're coming from how you learn about this event is most importantly um, and uh, let me see All right. let me put this I do, I do see 20, 27 people watching now. Nice, amazing. So let me uh, quickly check chat. All right, Dom from Dublin, welcome, uh, welcome here. Victor, oh, he's uh, he's the same name as myself, but uh, Victor is from Hungary. Alexander from Ukraine. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show. Thanks for um, joining us, Alberto. Uh, Alberto from Portugal. Nice. Uh, Armin from Armenia. Welcome. That's great. Uh, and um, um, Nikhil from India. So geography of uh, uh, live streams is is pretty. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's um, like people who using uh, Kafka are everywhere or using stream processing and things like that. Um, uh, hi Amit, Amit from India. So welcome, welcome to uh, welcome to live streams. Nice, nice. Uh, all right, so we have uh, Borman from Ukraine. Welcome. That's great. At least I know that I'm not the only one. And thanks so much for joining me. Okay, so what we are going to do today? Um, so this is again show where I'm trying. To, we're trying to get fun. We're trying to maybe learn something interesting. Uh, I'm definitely learning. Um, I do have a certain responsibilities uh, for you uh, because I need to prepare. I need to show you something exciting and uh, something interesting. So. But uh, as always, like first part of this uh, first part of the show, we're just chatting, we're just like uh, learning about um, uh, about the audience, where the people are coming from, and uh, I will leave the chat for a second, uh, and uh, we'll um, we'll join. Uh, we will we'll get back to this one. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, hit the like button. Um, it's help to um, to to see if there's like interesting in this type of show. All right. So, a uh, friendly reminder. So last time I learned that some of you folks are um, did not register for Kafka Summit. So the Kafka Summit registration is still is still open, and there is no reason for you not to register because it's free. Okay. 
So it is free event this year, um, and uh, we like right now super busy preparing this um, the, to um, to look into some of the uh, talks and uh, working on the, with the speakers on the content. So it's going to be amazing. And as as I promised, as a countdown for Kafka Summit. I will be highlighting some of the talks that I'm personally excited. So how you can uh, how we can learn what kind of talks will be there? So we do have a schedule partially published here. So you would see that uh, many talks already published. And uh, well, the first talk that I want to I'm actually looking forward to it myself. I like myself as I was interested in this type of topic for a while and I did presentation and some of the colleagues of mine did the presentation about this topic and the topic about using multiple data centers right so the Anna um, Anna McDonald uh, she's my colleague here from Confluent and um, she also known as uh, my uh, streaming friend uh, and uh, and uh, you know the lady with the high tops um, we have uh, we also um, uh, wearing matching uh, Adidas All-Star um, sneakers. So in this presentation, she, she will be talking about um, the Kafka deployment into multiple data centers, plus some of the aspect that important for you uh, if you're developing stream processing application using the Kafka stream. So I understand that many of us people are um, the operations, people who um, support this infrastructure, but also it's very important to know this aspect about um, multiple data center deployment for people who are uh, developers and how this can be done. This is my first peek. Um, come back for uh, for the next peek next week. I will be also uh, highlighting some of the some of the presentations. Also, if you have a chance to look at this um, uh, at this agenda website, let me know uh, in the comments in the stream the um, what talk are you excited about if you register if you didn't register just go there um, i'm remind you that um, the website is i will just put this in a, in the comments over here and uh, the um, this is uh, the kafka summit uh, the, the website where you can register let me know in the comments um, what talk are you excited about? If you uh, had a chance to look into um, into some of the some of the agenda items. All right. So I see many people are joining. I see right now around forty two people are joining. So um, so I see uh, Ng from USA, Dean from India. Welcome, welcome, um, Indra from Nepal. Welcome. That's uh, that's super cool. We have a Javier from Mexico. Uh, we have Naveen from India. GT GT Row Gaston Flores from Spain. Welcome. Welcome to this one. Um, and we have uh, Vishnu from India. And uh, yes, the the to my previous uh, to my previous point, the Anna rules. And uh, if you've seen uh, her presentation before, uh, she definitely sharing some of the um, fantastic energy for her talks. All right. So next thing that um, I want you to remind, if you are interested in uh, more co collaborative, what's happening with my, my collaborative uh, activities during the Kafka Summit, I highly recommend you to check this. Um, the um, This is our... Um, Kafka Hackathon. Uh, you can register. Uh, there will be prizes if you participate and your you will deliver a super cool uh, project. So please, please, please register. Uh, we have a cool prizes. Uh, we have cool prizes um, not limited to some of the monetary value like uh, Amazon 100 bucks um, uh, gift card, but also you can get the free certification coupon and. Uh, also coupon for Confluent Cloud. So how does it work? How this will work? So you need to choose the category where you will be working on, some of the category that you can, even maybe if you don't see your, your thing that you want to do fit into one of those categories, you can suggest your own. But this is something that we, we provided. Um, also, you can find some of the links to um, maybe blog posts to, so you get the idea, get inspired what the people doing in these particular categories. And after that, um, over some time, 
you will uh, you will work on some project, some cool project, and um, uh, after that, you just present this. And uh, the, the hardest part will start for us to to select uh, one of the uh, one of the cool projects. All right. So yeah, the go here register. Uh, it's uh, uh, the links will be there in uh, in description. Uh, do not forget if you if you're watching this. Um, I'm just repeating this for. Um, for George, who missing us today, if you're watching this in recording, um, the links will be there. So, uh, last thing, last announcement. If you uh, not enough of me <laughs> of this stream, so you know that I'm here every Tuesday. I'm talking about all stream processings, uh, uh, Confluent Cloud, Kafka streams, all this kind of thing. But if you're interested in something interesting. Uh, something else. So we, we're trying to do uh, the pair program over the live stream where we're going to be uh, with my friend Sergey. We're going to be um, talking some some and maybe coding our way through some interesting uh, interesting aspects. So we're doing this experiment uh, tomorrow. Um, you can uh, you can find this in my uh, in my Twitter somewhere. Uh, we're going to be doing these live streams with uh, you know the pair programming. So not a day. So maybe next. In a couple of weeks, we'll have our streams every day and you will be tired and you will not watch. But hey, so we got to try. So uh, today you have me, tomorrow uh, you will have uh, both of us. All right. So this is uh, uh, the welcome announcement. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think I can start. So just a uh, few more people just joined us. Uh, Srinivas, welcome. Srinivas from India joined us. Mikhailo from Ukraine, welcome, welcome. All right, um, so what are we going to talk about? So what I'm going to talk about. So last time, if you are, were not here, uh, you can go and watch the recording. Probably there should be, um, if you're watching this in the recording, there will be a link to previous episode where I was talking about um, getting started with the Spring Boot in, um, um, in Confluent Cloud. The reason for that, I already explained in the previous video, uh, if, you, um, if you didn't watch this, um, just a f reminder, right? Um, the couple things. Uh, the people were asking how they can do these kind of things in Confluent Cloud, but also um, Spring One. Spring One. It's the um, it's the conference about Spring. If you are in the Spring type of jazz um, and uh, you love Spring and developing uh, applications with Spring Boot and things like that. So let me see if I will be able to bring this on the screen. Um, I will be speaking there. I will be speaking there. Um, if uh, I will be talking about, as always, Kafka microservices and uh, Spring, um, but also I will be doing the workshop. So we didn't announce the workshop yet. Uh, it's going to be a virtual workshop. I will be teaching some of the um, Spring, Java, Kotlin, and all those kind of things. So I'm pretty excited about this and not to waste time and the resources I will be um, I will be preparing to this um, to this event through my live streams and one of the things that I mentioned last time is that uh, I showed how we can just go and create a simple spring boot application to publish data and read data from uh, confluent cloud today today we're going to be doing um, something different today we're going to be um, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, some some stream processing um, we're going to be um, the. I will show you how we can integrate Kafka streams into Spring Boot application and uh, what you can do with it. All right. So, as always, um, we start uh, at um, start.spring.io, as always. Uh, this is where we're going to start. Um, we're going to start with using Gradle. Um, uh, we're going to be using Java. As always, we're using the right package, IO, Confluent, developer. Uh, if you don't know what's the developer.confluent.io, um, this website, this is, needs to be your you know, landing page where you can learn things around uh, stream processing and uh, like your learning resource number one. So, um, live streams because you're here, 3Ms streams. 
and uh, we're going to be using Java 11. Okay, cool. Now, add dependencies. So, as always, we're starting with uh, Spring Kafka. Spring Kafka allows us to um, handle some uh, configuration and provide some of the opinionated approach. And today, we're going to be using Kafka Streams. Kafka Streams um, for here. So, we need to use Spring for Apache Kafka, Spring for Apache Kafka Streams. Um, and as always, um, I like to use Lombok just in case, so I will not type um, uh, anything else. Okay. Um, the, let me know um, if I'm missing something, but um, otherwise I will proceed. Okay. Now, the um, Spring for Kafka, Kafka Streams, so click the Generate and uh, have a live stream. So what, what is happening? Just the extra... <laughs> um, extra extra space okay now we're switching to um, our place where all developers like to be which is uh, our uh, console and uh, let's see if um, let's do let's let's make it a little bit edgy from perspective of like visual design I'm just looking how this looks on the screen it looks amazing um, by the way by the way in case you didn't know in case you didn't know, if you are in the Chrome browser or you are in the Firefox, maybe you can go click uh, and you can watch this in 4K. Just saying, you know, I maybe you like this type of jazz. Um, so let's go with the live streams. Go in here and let's start with IntelliJ. So um, while uh, IntelliJ loading this for me, I just want to make a, a quick um, a quick reminder. So if you uh, so uh, all the demos, all the demos after this presentation will be placed in this GitHub repo called uh, Demo Scene, and you can find um, live streams. Uh, folder where all this demo from multiple different uh, live streams will be conveniently placed. So today is what 28th, and there's going to be a folder called July 28th where you can find all the links, you can find all the code, or you want you can want to you know just like type with me. You can definitely do that as well. All right, so here uh, we are in IntelliJ. Uh, I want to enable. Yes, uh, annotation processing. And um, so we're going to be starting with this. <clears throat> let's do uh, this one as well. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, well, something like this. So um, we're going to be using the uh, Kafka Streams integration. So first thing what we need to do, as always, is just to say enable, um, enable Kafka Streams. So in this case, it will tell um, it will tell the Spring Framework that we're going to be using uh, the Kafka Streams here. So now, uh, let's start class, let's call it uh, processor. Because we're going to be processing something, right? And it's going to be method um, public void uh, process. So this is where we're going to start. So first thing that you need to know um, is that we are... Um, they need a couple of things here. So when you dealing with the Kafka streams and from uh, from perspective of um, just your, your API, you build your topology. To build your topology, you need to get access to the stream streams builder. The cool thing about um, uh, cool thing about uh, Kafka streams integration in the Spring Boot is that you um, you can rely on configuration. Um, just like yourself, plus uh, Spring Boot can uh, inject this for you. So I need to use this uh, streams um, builder, builder, and I can say it's going to be what final. Um, and in this case, I want to tell the Spring to inject this out wired, and also in this case, I need to make this as a component, right? So it's going to be a managed thing. So what we're going to be doing here in this in this example, uh, we're going to be read some data. Specifically, we're going to be reading a 
I was thinking about poem, but I'm not that cool, so I can't quote some poem. But I think I can find something in the internet and uh, read it loud, some of the quote from, uh, from movies. And after that, we can use the Kafka streams in Confluent Cloud and Spring Boot to do a word count. So in this case, read some data, quotes from, from movies, um, count words. Uh, write them to topic, result topic. This is what, again, what, what, this is what we're going to be doing. All right, that's cool. Um, so um, I'm just checking if there's any comments. Okay. Um, does a high level abstraction like Spring Cloud streaming is more suitable started part? This is a good question. And I think it's a kind of, uh, you're overshadowing. So we're going to be, one of the things that I wanted to showcase in the future episodes and how to use this like high level abstract called Spring Cloud Streams. But today I want to like build up from the very beginning from, so you understand what's the, you know, the, the um, what's the, what, what's, what's running down below, you know, what's, what is going on there. So in this case, uh, be, um, be patient, I will get back uh, to Spring Cloud Streams, um, maybe not the next time, or maybe not next time. We will see. We'll see how it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But once you will learn this foundation, how this uh, the configuration works, you can do uh, what you know, whatever you want. For um, for like event driven microservices, you will be able to to make a make a choice. And the Spring Cloud Streams, you still can be uh, will be able to use uh, things like. Um, Kafka streams or just the producer consumer. So we'll talk about this as well. Now, so let's start with this one. So we have a builder. We can create a stream from topic, uh, let's say, quotes. Um, and uh, so from this topic, what we're going to be doing, um, we need to parse it. So we get all the messages in, uh, uh, in, this, um, in this topic. Um, let me see. Yeah. So we get the messages from this topic. We are um, reading those. We need to parse those. In this case, the messages will go as a sentences. We need to parse those and after that you count. Um, it's uh, super, you know, super straightforward. Uh, probably many of you already done this. It's just like, it's not exercise to, um, to do something complex, but at least like you will understand how the mechanics of like underlying thing is working. Uh, right. So, um, so we, we're going to be, we're going to be using this, uh, the flat map. So we get a, a stream of sentences, like every message will include sentence. We need to explode this. So we need to spread this and create a stream of streams, meaning the stream of words. So in this case, we're going to be using a flat map, uh, for values and we're going to be do, um, so, um, as a value, we're going to be having um, string, oops, string, um, and iterable, let's just say, is going to have a list. Um, I'm just doing this explicitly so you understand like where, where the things are, you know, coming from. A list like this, uh, we're going to um, import class, Java util list, um, and we need to implement method. So flat map will get a string, so we need to get something in, 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 in as a result. So we can take the value, we can do uh, lowercase, just do split. Um, how many of you can tell me what's the regex that I need to use here? Um, I'll gonna, I'm gonna grab the glass of uh, no, let's bring this here. I'm gonna grab the glass of water and you will tell me what kind of regex I need to use to our uh, to to split this uh, sentences uh, into list of words. There's always should be an expert in um, in regex in um, in uh, any audience. I can bring my cat, but I don't have a cat. Usually, you know, you need to just bring the cat and uh, wipe on. Uh, <laughs> on your keyboard, so the people would know that um, the so you will generate some regex. Any any experts? 
Uh, we do have a people around the world. We have a people from Spain, India. You have be beautiful. So Borman. We have a winner, but uh, the 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 we cannot use this. Uh, we need to use this opposite. Um, um, Shinivas, it would be too easy if we're using the space. So in this case, there's like uh, some um, uh, uh, some some of the values. But hey, yeah, the uh, in this case it's gonna be the right thing. All right, how you will put the uh, depends on how you will put the messages on the topic. Exactly, but not exactly. We will talk about this in a bit. Uh, let's let's do this um, in a, in a second. All right, so um, we're gonna be split. So, we, but we have a we have a war. We have a the uh, so in this case we're gonna be doing what like array list, arrays uh, as um, as list split. This is what we have. Um, so what it says is to say string. Uh, and here we also say string. So what does it say? Um, can I resolve method map? Let's see what is going on here. Replace with lambda. Um, we don't need to have this guy here. Should be all right. And now, so we have a stream of things. Now we have a stream of words. So next thing is that uh, we need to group this. Um, group um, by uh, value, right? So um, the so for the group, we need to choose new key. And after that, um, we need to group by this key. So in this case, we count in words, so we need to move the value uh, as uh, our key. So group by, uh, what's the method here? Uh, K value mapper. So K value mapper, we should say, um, string and string. methods. So we're returning what? We're returning value, right? And after that, we can use replace with lambda. And we also don't really need this type of stuff. All right. Um, here, it doesn't know what we are dealing with. So in this case, we need to create a stream. So uh, the, the create some types. Um, I'm going to be doing this. Uh, explicitly, because I personally don't like to rely on default serializer, so I'll explicitly specify what types I want to consume from this topic. In this particular case, uh, let's assume my key and value are strings. So in this case, consumed with um, string, uh, oh, sorry, surdes, surdes, uh, and string. So in this case, I can do this war because I'm going to be using this multiple times. Now, and uh, um, string survey, we know this is a string survey, it's another string survey. Now we have a now we have a typed things, right? So we know that based on this type, the spring, uh, spring, the Kafka streams was able to, uh, to extract. So let's see if we can do uh, something, some, some refactoring. Uh, what's the um, uh, just one occurrence or factor? So in this case, I can replace it with this lambda. So looks good. Now, so once I group those, I can pass this kind of things into count method and just do here um, dot count. Can I? Um, method count will return me um, k table. This is going to be a grouped stream. Uh, it's going to be k table. I need to turn this uh, to stream, and after that, write this to um, 
to Kafka topic so count. So count. Okay, perfect. So this is going to be this is our this is our application, right? So this is this is what going to be uh, this is what we're going to do. This is our like a processing thing. Um, there's a couple things missing, but we will uh, try to solve this uh, into um, the the all on the way. You know, I'll show you errors. Something will blow up. Definitely will blow up because I see already a couple things that might blow up. So next thing is that uh, we need to have a Kafka somewhere. So for that, let's see if we have any um, any questions. Link to Confluent Livestream Reference app. Yes, sir. We um, all these repositories uh, links will be down below uh, after the stream will be over. But for impatient people, uh, the go follow, go start this uh, uh, demo scene repository. It's in uh, um, live streams folder. Let me see if I will be able to show. For some reason. My plugin broke and doesn't show me uh, anything. So yeah, but uh, you got the idea. You can get this in the demo scene, uh, Confluent thing. This is where you can get this. All right, cool. So where can get the Kafka? So first of all, we know where you can get the Kafka, right? You already know the answer. We go the Kafka in um, in our cloud. So let me load one of my accounts that I use to this. Um, to, 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 to do. Create a cluster. So we call it, as always, live streams uh, cluster. Um, um, I want to show you. I want to show you quick, um, quick hack that I use personally. So in um, in my um, in my Confluent Cloud, when I'm creating this cluster, I need to select the zone. How I know like which zone I need to select. Uh, there's a pretty cool thing um, called GCP ping. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is something for other cloud providers as well. I'm using GCP, uh, just simply people told me that is you know, cheaper. So <laughs> I'm using GCP. And uh, in this case, it will show me which uh, region I should choose in order to get the, the lowest latency in this case. Uh, so GCP ping, um, just try it out. Um, might be cool. So in this case, US East is closest to me. So in this case, I'm select, uh, selecting US East. I don't need to have a fancy cluster, even though I can. Um, and just like a go and continue and create. Um, what? Yes. All right. So um, what we need to have, as always, we go in here, uh, tools and configs. We go in the clients. In this case, we're going to go to Spring Boot. And we're going to copy this uh, property file that will include in our applications.property. This is what we're going to be including. Um, we're not going to be using uh, some fancy Avro stuff today, um, even though we can. Uh, this is uh, some, of the, some of the conversations for our future. Um, for our future. Docs. Now I need to get a key and I need to get a um, generate, where is it? Generate Kafka cluster key. So in this case, I can do live streams um, key. So I'm going to go copy here. Um, and insert here. Um, insert here, so I click save, so it's saved. Um, I can do scheme registry just for the sake of live streams, uh, case streams. So for the sake of, um, you know what, I don't need this. So I don't need Avro, so I will just go ahead. This is what we do, right? We are removing things that we don't need. We have a, like a, we need to have a, like bare minimum things uh, to, uh, to work with. Now, in, um, in a, this, uh, in a, this type of setting, so what are we doing? <clears throat> we do have a connection to Kafka. Um, next thing that live streams application, let's run it. Let's see if it's, uh, it works. This is how we're doing this, right? It's a, 
live, uh, bare, uh, like raw, uh, like multiple mistakes and all these kind of things. So, um, so a couple things that you need to notice here. So Kafka Streams application will require a the parameter called application ID. So application ID will define a consumer group. So when you will be running multiple instances of this application, they will be able to scale. So in this particular case, this is something that we miss. And the Spring uh, framework uh, before it created this uh, thing, it validates our config. So what we can do here, um, we go in here and call application. Uh, Kafka streams application ID. So this is what we need to put in and let's call it um, my word count. My word count. And we can restart a, this application. Let's see if we can have something. Now, error and uh, shutdown. How many of you might notice this error? What, what might be the problem? Hmm? Um, let me see if I can see what's the error in uh, without stack trace. Received error code one. And all streams have died. Wow, this is some terrible error. Let's see if we can find any error. Um, sometimes it's confusing, right? So you think that uh, it should work and uh, it just just connects. Let's see if we can have anything like any any valuable information from from um, from this application from this. So missing source topic quotes during assignment. This is our famous error from the last time. If you um, if you were here uh, last time, you probably know this. Um, if, you, uh, if you did not, it's okay. So you know, many of you know, hopefully many of you know already that um, automatic creation topic is not a good thing. So you need to be explicit on topic creations. So in our, um, in our application, we need to bring uh, two, more, uh, two more beans as always, right? Um, new, uh, new topic bean, it's called simply because we are uh, method returns uh, new new topic and uh, new new oops sorry it's gonna be um, new new topic and quotes uh, replication what's the First one is number of partitions, six, because it's default. And we're doing a short uh, three. It's replication factor, right? Number of partition replication factor. Um, we make it bean. And we make it um, counts, right? And what else? the accounts. All right, so let me um, let me quickly check if we have any questions into this one. So uh, there's some off topic question. Um, how to read how to read Kafka streams and deserialize it if a schema is stored in the schema registry. Um, and this question is not precisely off topic, but there's something that you need to fix in. Uh, I will talk, I'll talk about the scheme registry. Hopefully, if I have a little bit more time, I will try to, to answer this today. If not, uh, I will definitely uh, bring this, uh, bring this to the next next one. So thanks for this question, Borman. All right. So, um, so yeah, so I do have a connection. I do have a connection to Kafka cluster. The problem was, um, I guess it's the to the point of my previous um, the uh, to my previous point. Uh, the topic was not created, so let me uh, let me create this topic and rerun this application. Let's see if it, if it fixed this. Um, so Alexander asking uh, why streams app freezes and exception is by design or not? 
Okay, let me see. Uh, wondering why stream app is freezed on exception. Is it by design or not? How should errors be handled? Imagine if you have inside a flat map and you're trying to do integer parsing. Perfect question. Um, I think uh, we're going to be talking about error handlers and the different ways how this can be handled. Uh, there's a few ways how it can be done. Um, the simple answer, there is a very uh, good blog post that recently was published. Um, I highly recommend to, the, um, to check this um, uh, blog post by by Tim uh, Van Barsen. Um, he wrote a blog post in the Confluent, uh, in Confluent blog where he was talking about the, some of the air hand, uh, you know, the, oh, I didn't switch to, sorry. Yeah, so the, um, the Tim Van Barsen wrote the blog post about handling this um, uh, situation with the exceptions. If you want, if you like, uh, let's just say, if this video will take, I don't know, like 50 likes, I will make this uh, error handling topic of my next, like next week conversation. So you know what to do if you like the topic about error handling, how it can be handled properly, um, you know, let's make it, let's make it 100, let's make it funnier. If this video will take 100 likes, I will break this down as the next topic for the next week. How about that? Um, meanwhile, you can um, uh, you can uh, listen. Uh, you can um, you can read this uh, in this blog post as spring for Apache Kafka um, and can consumer handle um, can consumer handle um, poison pill. All right. Uh, all right. Why it's <laughs> why it's so hard to install Mongo connector for Kafka not using Confluent Hub? Um, also, why MongoDB connector was removed from Confluent free package? Um, good question. Answer, I don't know, but I will investigate this for you for the next, uh, next streams. We, we will drill down into connectors world, I'm, I promise you, and uh, I will investigate. Thanks for this question, OP, O, OP, OP. Um, all right, so how we can insert data in key table? Um, we'll see how we can do that in uh, in a few few seconds. All right, so I will uh, switch back to my um, to my ID, and we continue to break things down. Um, so I created topics. Topics should appear in a uh, in my application console. Now, what what is happening? So the next error could not create topics. My uh, word count. What kind of topic is this? You might ask. Like, what, what's 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 up with that? So, in my application here, so the places where I do things like um, uh, aggregate store. This is something that we'll be using to collect discounts. So, this data needs to be stored somewhere. So, first of all, it will be stored maybe in a local store, but also it needs to be replicated through Kafka. Uh, this topic needs to be created by Kafka streams. What is happening here, it cannot create this uh, topic for some reasons. And the reason for that, because um, I, I know exactly what's the reason. The reason for that is that uh, replication factor that uh, we have by default is one. And when we're trying to create this topic in Confluent Cloud, which replication for, uh, factor is three by default, we need to modify this. So in our application.properties, what we need to do here, we can do uh, Kafka streams replication factor, Three. So in this case, let's let's let me show you screen really quick. Um, where are we? Confluent Cloud. So we are here. When we see topics, there's two topics that was created by me. Um, and next thing is that uh, we need to rerun this topic. Uh, I don't. Yeah. So okay. So this is a good question. So internal topic for state store. I need to create those implicit explicitly. Um, Yes, they will be created by framework. Um, creating them uh, uh, explicitly, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not a good thing. So it is not a good thing to do this type of stuff because you're not handling this framework. Handle this framework needs to know what kind of uh, topics it will be using. You don't do this uh, yourself. Um, this is what uh, the framework does for you. And uh, only thing that I modified here um, is. Um, the 
the replication factor. And now you can see here, boom, uh, one is for, let's see, first one is aggregated store, and the second one should be for grouping. Uh, ah, repartition. Okay, yeah, so because we need to, uh, so count operation actually does two things, and it does, hides a lot of things uh, if you do this, um, the, like through DSL, through this, uh, uh, through the, um, through the API. The, if you will do it, implement this yourself, you need to create this, like it is actually two steps operation. One is repartitioning and another one is actual store where the data will be stored. Okay, now we have created this, application is up and running, okay, cool. So n now let's, let's start produce some of the messages here, okay. So how we can do this? The, um, so I can do this from the console, but the console, um, the, say I can do quotes, and in this case I can do this uh, in JSON format, but I want to use just a text. I just, you know, let's, uh, let's switch gears and use something else. We're going to be using, um, so let's see what kind of clusters I do have. It's cloud. Kafka uh, cluster uh, list. So in this case, I will be using C Cloud um, live streams cloud. And so in this case, I will be using this cluster to produce um, topic. And this is what my cluster ID. Um, and um, All right, so um, it looks like the cluster uh, requires me to install this IP key, so I need to do this uh, through the things, um, the cloud API key uh, create for this, uh, and this is my cluster. Okay, perfect. Now I should be able to produce. Uh, key selected. Okay, so when this do um, key, uh, the um, what this is my and key. So let's see if I have a cluster settings. Uh, key to do. do. Uh, CLI, where is it? API access, yep. Um, let's just see. Live streams keys. Uh, the one is this one. So in this case, I will be using this key uh, to access to my cluster locally. All right, cool. And now I should be able to produce. Cool beans, okay. So let's start to producing something. Um, so what do we can produce here? Um, the, let's just say, let me tell you something that, uh, some, something that you already know. The world, world, world is is not all sunshine and rainbows. Okay, let's see if we can, uh, if our application works. Oh snap! There's multiple errors. Exception handled. Uh, so what is happening here? The cast exception uh, while producing to sync topic. Uh, serializer, byte array, serializer, a byte array, serializer is not compatible with key string string. Um, the, this, is, this is very good. This is very good one. This is very interesting question. Let's take a look into our application. So, um, so we are reading the topic in the string format. So we're using the string serializer and deserializer. 
Um, and in this case, we have uh, the streams that will be placed uh, downstream. So in this case, the, for a flat map, we get a string of strings, uh, key string and value string. Now, the, what is happening here is that somewhere here or here, we are um, um, losing the serializer, okay? So, and the logic here is that when we do a flat map, we are losing, in, in this particular case, we do flat map value. So in this case, key, is, key stays the same, but since we're changing the value, um, serializer, uh, there's no there's no way how I can know what kind of like serialization uh, format I need to choose. And the thing is, flat map is it, it doesn't go anywhere, so I don't need to serialize deserialize anything. So in this case, it still stays in JVM, but my group operation will be uh, using a uh, another stream, so it will create uh, another repartition stream that will include grouped stream. So this is where we're losing the serializer from value of flat map. And we need to provide it here. The way how we can do this, there's a method called uh, grouped with and uh, key. Uh, the we we we, st we still we still have it um, as a string, right? So we do a string, string survey, and um, string survey. So in this case, we're specifying the serialization. You can define this uh, default serialization format um, in, um, you can do, um, Kafka-default. Um, yeah, I guess it can. Do, I need to provide this uh, the the properties for uh, Kafka streams. So in the Kafka streams, um, so what I can do here, uh, Kafka streams default survey. And the, this is how we can change this config. The string config that allows me to to, to specify a default serializer. Um, so in this case, in my case of my application over here, um, when they will lose uh, information about the uh, value serializer after flat map snap, uh, we need to provide the serializer again. Otherwise, it will be just a, a switch back to uh, default serializer, which by default is byte array or serializer, whatever. Now, uh, let's also do... Um, uh, let's do some printing so we can uh, get um, counts. So we can see if there's our application is actually working. Um, so we can do counts uh, dot print um, printed uh, to system out and running count, right? Um, what is going on? Uh, let me see what kind of argument requires um, print printed, okay, print, um, printed, okay, so what is that, why, expected one argument but got, okay, so probably just like, like this, should work, okay. Um, and after that, we're writing back the results into um, into topic. Okay, let's see. Let's let's run it and see if it works. While it's building, um, which value format is the best for creating topics? Avro, JSON, or other? So this is a very good question, and it answers really depends. Um, I prefer to use either Avro or Protobuf just simply because there are tools that are available and I can generate um, I can generate my POJOs, I can generate my um, uh, Java classes based on the schema. Plus, Schema Registry supports this, so there's integration in Kafka and all, all, all cool things. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's, uh, 
It just like depends. We can we can talk about this in the future when I will bring in some of the scheme register here. Now my application now works, so I will be able to uh, the the read stuff and you know my printer printer is is warning. Um, let me see if I can see anything in my in my topic views. So if I see the counts and my messages, um, if I see anything here, so my application works. And just like zero offset. Is there anything? Yeah. So there's some uh, some of the uh, so value value probably just cannot cannot see. Um, um, can I see stuff? All right, so uh, let's get back here and uh, let's see if my thing is work. Um, so let's bring this. So this is my output and this is where we're getting the counts of uh, my messages, we'll see. And this is where we're gonna be entering. Let's see. <coughs> Let me tell you something. You already know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place and you don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Okay, let's send it. Um, and in the chat or in the comments below, write down in the comments below if you know where this code is actually coming from. Let's see. Uh, there is a delay why the messages will, you know, appear here. So first of all, um, I didn't configure um, any, you know, deprecation of the caching. So the Kafka stream is by default using caching um, in order to, you know, send some of the message upstream. So in this case, it will uh, be here. So, so the you will see some of the delay here. And this is what happening is here. So our counts uh, happening here. We have a me two times, something two times. So it looks like it works, right? So let's um, let's see if we um, if we can continue to do so. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. All right, so let's send it. See, I don't even need to uh, type anything. So like maybe in future, I need to just uh, tell, um, tell this application to, <laughs> to type my code. So in this case, I don't need to even type. So yeah, so application works uh, all good uh, and um, yeah, the, the uh, you know, everything is working and it's super, super cool. Now, now, I think that is it for, uh, for today's session. So what did we learn? Um, where's my... Scratch. New scratch file. Ask it up. So, um, what did we learn today? How to use Kafka streams? So, Spring uh, for Kafka streams. So, in order to use it, um, you just need to have one annotation. In this case, uh, Spring will be able to inject a streams builder. In my, in my application class. So over here, streams builder would be created and managed by Spring, which means that all applications uh, properties can be handled as a separate file and configuration. So the next time if you're switching to different location, um, we can um, um, uh, just simply switch configuration. We don't need to put anything in the code, right? So uh, this is this is what third thing. Third thing is the enable enable Kafka streams annotation. Uh, with second thing, um, the it works great. Uh, Kafka streams um, defaults.
don't work uh, don't work with cloud because uh, replication factor. Um, always create your topic yourself. Let's do this. Um, if you want to know how we can develop uh, Kafka Shims, uh, if you want to develop a similar um, similar application, but not in the cloud, uh, but locally, uh, I can show you how we can do this. Um, let's do this. Like, if this video will take like 200 likes, I will tell you how we can do this. Again, if this video will tell um, will hit um, will, will hit 100 likes, I will explain to you what. Um, I already promised you to explain something. Um, I, I will return and uh, re-listen uh, this video and uh, we'll check uh, what um, what did I promise to you. Uh, if someone is remember, uh, just type down in the comments. Uh, so uh, application is still working and um, and. Uh, Let's see if it's still working. And that's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you are worth and you go out and get what you're worth, but you're gonna be willing to take hits and no pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. I'm still waiting some of the idea. Oh, stop. Too much, too much, too fast. Um, still waiting, still waiting. Um, uh, st still waiting for um, uh, some of the ideas where this quote is coming from, uh, what uh, movie I'm quoting. Um, write down in the comments if you know what kind of movie I'm quoting. And uh, yeah, that's, um, that's, uh, see my uh, my data is still coming so some some data is still coming and word you uh already appeared 20 times the cool thing about caching speaking about caching here um that uh the compaction of this k table which essentially um this guy um this k table uh count yeah, so this k-table, um, it happens on uh, on application side. So it, it, I don't need to wait until it will be compacted on the Kafka side. Uh, but if you want to have these uh, results immediately, um, you need to change uh, the caching configuration, which is if you go here, just let's see, Kafka, uh, Kafka streams. Um, caching. <clears throat> In the memory management the documentation, you can find this uh, explanation about how the caching is wor uh, caching works in the Kafka streams. So essentially, if you want to disable it and get the answers immediately and send this back to you, you just go here and change this uh, cache max bytes buffering uh, into into zero. This is how we can do this. Um, in uh, in this case, the message will be you know immediately immediately into Kafka topic and it will start there. Um, but I just wanted to have a just uh, uh, um, some same same default uh, streaming things. <laughs> All right, so what we're talking about here, the um, yes, so Deepak is right. Uh, he said it's rocky, but which one is the question? So next, next, uh, next answer uh, would be um, like which which Rocky this quote for, was from. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much for my for congratulations to my t three years anniversary at the Confluent. It's exciting, and I'm looking forward for at least uh, three or maybe <laughs> four more years. So. Depends depends on how this uh, live stream thing will work out. So guys, I, in this case, I need your support. I need your likes, um, and uh, let me know um, 
<laughs> let, let me let me know. Show me show me your support. And again, um, this is how we can get a some of the uh, some of the topics. Uh, if you want to have some of the topics, uh, I already collected some of the information, collected some intel from this chat, and I promise I will get back in one of these episodes in future, and we talk about how certain things can be done. Um, I guess next time, obviously, there's a lot of questions about serialization and uh, deserialization and what format to choose. Uh, I will break this down first. So if you're interested for this one, tune in next week on Tuesday. Uh, I will be breaking down how this can be configured in the Kafka in the spring and uh, Kafka streams. And probably a week after, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, Spring Cloud streams because with the with the all the things that I will you know talking to you right now, we already have a pretty good uh, foundation on the things. Um, if you uh, want to you know know when the next video will be up. Uh, It's uh, it's on our YouTube channel. If you go here, you just go click subscribe, and in this case, you will be notified when the next video will be up. Um, for this, for today, I think uh, I will be. I'm done. Thank you so much for being the part of live streams. I super excited that uh, seeing like so many of you here. Um, the you can follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter. This is where um, you can find me. Uh, my name is Victor Gamov. I work as developer advocate. I'm here to answer your question, to teach you uh, stream processing, and uh, in a <laughs> in a fun in a fun way. Let me check last time if we have any questions for this particular. All right, so there's some uh, some of the questions. Um, so Bromania, I'm asking, instead of removing duplicates using specific key, can we update key table using specified key? I think the topic of uh, deduplication we can cover in uh, some details. Um, the I will I will take a look for um, for for better way or better example how I can explain this to you. Um, Custom survey explained from Jason. I guess it's the it's one of the things that we're going to be breaking down next time, or maybe Jason's schema. How about that? Jason's schema is also sounds exciting. Uh, Rocks DB configuration, um, maybe in the five, six weeks. Uh, I mean, like we need to build up to the point where uh, we will uh, cover some basics enough that we'll drill down into um, some of the basics. All right. Uh, all right, so Farah, I hope you will find the um, <laughs> some of some of the beats uh, uh, while you're rewatching this uh, multiple times, hopefully, um, and uh, we'll we'll see we'll see you next time. All right, my name is Victor Gamov, and as always, have a nice day. And now. Few as always, a few few picture for uh, <laughs> for, <laughs> for artwork. <laughs> um, I was still online. I was still live. I was still live. Oh snap! Have a nice day. <laughs>